Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're going to talk about the difference between a draw and a fade and which one goes longer. Now, speaking to a lot of golfers, they assume the draw goes further. So today I'm going to test it. I've got a 7 iron, I've got a 3 iron, a 3 wood, and a drive. So I'm going to hit a draw and a fade with both all of these golf clubs and compare the data. Pro V1 Golf Balls GC2. So I'm going to start off, first shot's going to be a draw with a 7 iron. Pretty good strike. See there, it's just push draw, down the right, pitched around 170, 168 that was. Okay, it's enough fade. Pretty good strike. Pretty close. Okay, so looking at those first two shots there, the first one, uh, which was a draw, that carried 168 yards. Uh, second one, which was a fade, carried 164 yards. So four yards difference there. Now, I've been doing a bit of testing on this, and it's usually quite similar with the seven iron, but we're gonna move on now. Uh, we're gonna try the three iron. So four yards difference there, with the seven iron, a bit longer than the draw. So let's go three iron now. So draw first. Two lovely skull club. Uh, Slide down the right, touch the draw there. Pitch 206, rolled out to 222. Okay, it's enough for fade. So 206, 222. They felt pretty good, see it fading back. Two hundred three to two seventeen. So again, very very similar data. Uh, just looking at some club data there. Uh, ball speed off the face exactly the same. One three six. Launch angle within a degree. Uh, the backspin was just a little bit higher with the fade. So that's probably why it just carried slightly shorter. According to my app here, it's it's carried two yards shorter. So two hundred three and two hundred five. So not much in it. And obviously with the roll out there rolled out a similar amount of distance so it's not like the draw is getting a lot more run when it lands on the on the green or the fairway. Uh, so next up we're going three with so draw first again so again push drawing back pitched around 245 rolled to about 262 so 243 Carry roll to 262 with 19 yards of run out there. Okay, so next up the fade, so we're looking at about 243 carry, rolled up to 262 with a draw. Okay, just started out a bit too straight, but you can see the cut on it. Pitch at 232, rolled out to 246. So it's probably 10 yards difference in carry there just looking at the the stats there um, so ball speed was actually faster off the face with the fade but obviously a bit more backspin just dropped that down about 10 yards so we're going to go one more with the driver okay so last up we're going to go driver so draw first okay pushing down the right Drawing back, pitch 263, rolled out to about 282, 262, 282. So fade, 262, 282 with the driver. Okay, nice little power fade there. Felt really good that. And that's, oh, I think that's gone longer. Yeah, 265, 287 total. So, driver has actually gone further with the fade, which is, could be surprising for some people. So looking at some data there, 
Ball speed was actually a bit faster with the draw one mile an hour faster, you can see on the screen here the stats. And the backspin was a little bit lower the fade, which is surprising that time. And you can see with the carry distance, two yards more carry with the fade. So I was a little bit surprised with that driver at the end. Let's sit down now and take a look at that data in a bit more detail. Okay, some interesting stuff there. Like, I think a lot of people just assume that the draw shot is gonna get more run out, it's got top spin on it. There's no such thing as having top spin on the golf ball. But if you had top spin on the golf ball, the ball wouldn't even launch off the ground. So every golf ball has backspin. Obviously the more backspin they have tends to drop a little shorter. Obviously there's optimums, you can have too little or too much. So there are optimums for every golf club. Now, interesting there, so you saw I hit the seven iron, the three iron, the three wood and the driver. The driver went further with the fade, which was interesting. I know it's very difficult to put exactly the same strike on it, but I thought I'd do this test as best I could, just to show you guys that there's probably not as much in it as you think. Now, if you slice the ball, miss the fairway 50 yards right, it's, you're gonna lose a lot of distance. Now, I see a lot of golfers for fitting and for coaching, and I, in my opinion, I think golfers that slice the ball, they probably aim too straight or too far to the right even. They're worried that aiming further left is actually gonna make them slice more, which uh, I can see their, their point there, but if you're missing to the right, then it makes sense that you aim left to allow for that. You look at Jack Nicholas used to aim left, fade it into the green. Uh, you look at other golfers, they aim right to draw it back into the green. So I don't think there's a right or wrong. Um, I think you've got to play to your strengths or what you feel comfortable playing with. Now, looking first of all at the seven iron. So ball speed was within one mile an hour difference. The backspin, however, was a little bit higher with the fade. So you can see the stats on the screen here was about 700 revolutions higher, which probably just dropped it down slightly. So that carried 164 with the fade, 168 with the draw. Uh, the draw actually went higher. So looking at the rollout, the seven iron, they both of them rolled out 11 yards. Interesting stuff there. So moved on to the three iron. Again, ball speed, exactly the same, 136. Spin rate, slightly higher, 500 revolutions higher with the fade. Uh, the fade that time went higher, and the yardage for carry was 203 with the fade, 205 with the draw. So two yards difference. In terms of rollout, we had 15 yards rollout with the fade, and we had 16 yards rollout with the draw. So not much in it. Then we moved on to the three wood and ball speed was actually higher with the fade, could have been down to the strike. So you can see they're four miles an hour faster off the face. Carry distance, so this is where we saw a bit of a difference. So the fade with the three wood spun a lot more for me and carry distance was 232 with the fade and 243 with the draw. The fade went higher, spun a lot more. In terms of rollout, we had, with the fade, we had 14 yards and we had 18 yards with the draw. So with the three wood there, definitely the draw did perform better, a bit more rollout. But then we moved on to the driver at the end there. Ball speed, uh, one mile an hour difference, no difference there. Spin rate was actually lower, interesting, with the fade that time. Height was higher with the draw. Carry distance was two yards further with the fade. And in terms of how much run we got off the ball, we had 22 yards with the fade and we had 21 yards with the draw. So there's not much in it. In my opinion, I don't think one's better than the other. I think certainly you play to your strengths. You look at someone like Dustin Johnson, who's always drawn the golf ball. He's changed in the last year or so to hit a fade off the tee. So interesting stuff there, guys. I've, I was not surprised. I was kind of expecting it to be very similar. I know from hitting the shots in the nets with my ball flight, it's, it's usually quite similar. Obviously, I appreciate to do this test properly. It's, obviously, the strike can um, change the numbers and stuff like that, but I thought that was quite a fair test. I'd be interested to hear your thoughts on that. So, in my opinion, draw or fade, not much in it. So if you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps me. If you don't already, please subscribe to my other social media platforms, such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Okay, so looking at carry distances there, one yard in it, just checking that actually faded. No, it drew. 
so I have to do that again. Uh, so looking at the rollout actually with that 7 iron, it rolled out 9 yards, I think, 11. 